solving for x. x plus 5 equals 8. Pay attention to how we will solve this problem since you will be using it a lot. Our goal is to find the value of x. As we can see, we have two sides. The side on the left and the side on the right. We need to have the variable x alone on one side. In order to do this, we will subtract 5 from both sides. 5 minus 5 is 0, and 8 minus 5 is 3 x equals 3. Let's try a different one. x minus 10 equals 3 plus 2 plus 3. Our goal is to find the value of x. As we can see, we have two sides. The side on the left and the side on the right. We need to have the variable x alone on one side. First we solve what's inside the parentheses. 2 plus 3 is 5. Now we can combine like terms on the right side. 3 plus 5 is 8. Now we can add both sides to 10. Why 10? Because on the left side we have minus 10, and if we add 10, we will end up with the x alone on the left side. x equals 18. Let's practice. Take your time and try the following exercises. When you finish, check your answers with mine. Practice solution. x minus 4 equals 3 plus 6 plus 3. Our goal is to find the value of x. As we can see, we have two sides. The side on the left and the side on the right. We need to have the variable x alone on one side. First we solve what's inside the parentheses. 6 plus 3 is 9. Now we can combine like terms on the right side. 3 plus 9 is 12. Now we need to add both sides to 4. Why 4? Because on the left side we have negative 4. And if we add 4, we will end up with the x alone on the left side. x equals 16. Next. x plus 7 equals 10. Our goal is to find the value of x. As we can see, we have two sides, the side on the left and the side on the right. We need to have the variable x alone on one side. In order to do this, we will subtract 7 from both sides. 7 minus 7 is 0, and 10 minus 7 is 3. x equals 3. 